Hello and welcome to my very first YouTube video. My name is Zara. For those of you guys that don't know me, I am a painter. I paint mainly using acrylic and watercolor um, and most of my work is inspired by astronomy as well as the Pacific Northwest where I live. Um, and I thought I'd do a Q&A slash get to know the artist video first. Um, just to introduce myself. So I asked some questions on my Instagram. So the first question I got was, where do you live? Um, so like I said, I live in the Pacific Northwest. I live in Washington State specifically um, on the Western side. So kind of near Seattle, but far enough away that I don't deal with the hustle bustle of the city. Um, I live on a little blueberry farm um, in outside of the suburbs of Seattle, so um, in the more of the countryside, countryside area, in the in the countryside. Um, so I live in the countryside on a little blueberry farm, um, and it's my family's blueberry farm. So yeah, get that question a lot. Um, uh, the other question I got was, what? How did your interest in astronomy begin? So. I don't want to say there was like a specific point where I was just like, you know, this is like a life changing story that, <laughs> you know, inspired me to create um, artwork that um, was based off of, you know, astronomy or just outer space, etc. But I think there are a couple of different things that I can trace it back to. One is um, when I was a lot younger, I used to. Um, my family never actually lived on our Blu-ray farm at the time and I used to visit um, with my dad on the weekends and um, it was around five or seven years old, um, somewhere in between there. And um, we would spend the night at the Blu-ray farm so we could actually uh, work there the next day. Um, you know, we, our plants were still young and so we were still um, growing them or that they, they still need to be taken care of quite a bit so that was my weekend it would be spent on the farm with my dad and um, we used to just you know my dad had had a truck has a truck and used to just kind of sleep in the flatbed of the truck but um, uh, there was nothing really to do in the evening time and the sun once the sun would set there wasn't any electricity um, on the farm um, there weren't like, you know, smartphones weren't really a thing back then. So nothing really to entertain you. So my dad would just build a little fire and we'd sit around that. And um, our entertainment would be like telling stories and my dad would point out constellations and satellites and things in the night sky. And so that was my first real introduction to astronomy. Um, I think afterwards when I grew up and actually we, we got her, we built her house on the farm and moved out here from the city. That was the first time that I could actually see the night sky um, from my bedroom window so clearly because before there was a lot of light pollution in the city and um, I would, you know, go out pretty often in the evenings after, after the sun would set just to watch the night sky and stargaze and that summer that we moved um, was the first time I actually got to see the Perseids meteor shower and um, I think the rest is history but that's kind of what sparked my interest and it was around the same time where I started then creating a lot of artwork inspired by um, astronomy and the night sky and um, outer space so that's kind of where my interest in astronomy began. The next question I got was, how did I actually become an artist? And I think, I can't remember a time where I wasn't drawing or painting or doing some kind of creative work. Um, I was at a very young age, when I was around five years old, when I got my first sketchbook and I would bring it to um, the farm on the weekends when my family was actually working there. Um, and helping the, our young blueberry plants mature. Um, so I would draw 
a lot of different things that I would see around me, like birds and plants and um, draw myself imaginary friends. So I had an interest in art from a very young age. Um, I actually seriously started um, posting my stuff online and drawing and creating when I, around 2014. I had a very different art style back then and I did a lot of like portrait work and kind of whatever was trending online at the time. I didn't really have a art style figured out um, and that was okay. Um, it just did not really feel like art that was really coming from my soul or <laughs> from, you know, from like a very meaningful place. So um, kind of fast forward, I think in 2016 was when I first started posting my um, first astronomy inspired um, piece and I think it was a moon painting or I think I did it in charcoal and after that I kind of just flipped a switch and I started creating a lot of astronomy inspired work and around the same time was when I had actually moved to our new house which is on our farm so um, I think a lot of things coincided at one time and um, yeah that really led the led the way for me creating the work I do now. The next question I got was uh, how do you get inspiration? Uh, this might be kind of a cheesy answer but um, I would say from my life I um, like I explained like how I became interested in astronomy and how that translated over then to my artwork. I think that's the case for lots of my art pieces. Um, just like take this art piece for example, I just completed it and I actually came back from Nevada a few weeks. I went on a long trip to um, down to Arizona and we passed through Nevada and there was one night where we um, just stopped our um, motorhome in the middle of in the middle of um, nowhere basically and it was like this like the desert and um, you know you could I was able to see the Milky Way the clearest I had ever seen it and you know it was just undescribable it, it was I had never seen it that that clear and I definitely knew I wanted to create a piece based off of that and so I came up with this and it definitely takes elements from you know that trip as well as um, uh, my my home there's lots of mountains that have snow right now and we had to pass through those on our trip as well so I can always trace back my artwork to my own life and I think that's the um, one of the best forms of inspiration is um, you know exposing yourself to new things and trying new things and gaining inspiration from that if that makes sense the other question I got was, what is your favorite planet? Um, uh, if you don't know, I painted a whole series on all the planets in our solar system. And to be very honest, I think um, Earth definitely wins in terms of my favorite planet. I, it's not just because it's my home, <laughs> um, but I think we are truly blessed to live on a planet with so many miracles. I'm sure if I was ever to visit another planet, I would, maybe my opinions would change, but I think we're just surrounded by so many miracles here um, from, you know, the way that plants grow and the way that the clouds move in the, in the sky and, you know, the, the fact that we get so many different colors at sunset time. Um, so I think there's something, something really special about this planet that, um, makes it stay my favorite even though there's so many other beautiful planets out there. I got a question asking what my favorite movie is. Uh, I would say this is a tough one because I am, I love movies and I especially love movies with a great soundtrack so a lot of my favorite movies will be, will have amazing soundtracks and I love using those soundtracks to like create fun videos and um, share those videos on uh, my Instagram story and on reels and stuff. 
Um, but my favorite top two would be um, Interstellar and then La La Land. How do I find the places that I paint? So sometimes I'll paint outside or outdoors, especially when the weather is nice. And I want to say all of the play, all of the uh, uh, videos I've posted online that have been um, outside are actually on our farm. So none of these are like me going anywhere, um, you know, to film these and those videos. It's just in my backyard. Um, there's a forest in my backyard, so I will sometimes go there um, just to get inspiration or just feel at peace or you know calm while I'm painting um, or I'll go down to our blueberry field and paint there um, so most of the places that you see on my Instagram or TikTok are from are on my farm so I'm not actually going anywhere <laughs> to film those um, that would be fun but a lot of work to take all my stuff with me maybe one day. <laughs> so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to follow along with my art journey, um, be sure to hit subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I'll see you soon.